So here we are after a very long hiatus. And today I'm going to be reviewing The Forest. Now, I have been really following this game lately. I bought it actually, and I don't buy games, to be honest. And it's just a really solid foundation for what can be an excellent finished product of a uh, well, horror game, a uh, survival horror game. And it, if you don't really know about it, uh, you basically crash, uh, basically crash on this island, the forest, but you'll find it's an island, and really don't, there's not much given about where exactly it is or what, no, you don't really know much. Um, you are, as far as we know, the only survivor on the, air, um, on the airplane, everyone is dead, and you are only, uh, you are with a kid before. Sorry about that. I actually had to cut my recording. I was in a phone call. But as I was saying, man, this game, I love this game. Um, you, like I said, you start out in this plane. Okay, yeah. You crash. Okay. And you pretty much need to survive on your own. That's basically the gist of it. You are completely, as far as you know, alone. Except for a kid that you crash land with who uh, gets jacked by the natives of the island. Whatever you want to call them, really. Um, and basically what, what you will start out doing is finding food and going about your business trying to survive. You are equipped with a survival book laying out everything you need in the game. Um, obviously you're going to start with basics such as, uh, oh, I didn't even realize they said basics of survival. They'll fix that. Um. There are some typos, as I said very early, alpha. Uh, literally, the first alpha release was like a week ago. Um, but yeah, you, you start off with your basic shelters, and it's not like Minecraft. You can't just build things. Um, most structures are laid out for you and in a blueprint, and you basically build onto them. So you aren't completely screwed and, and, and unsure of how to survive. You are given a decent number of tools to begin off the bat. But, like I said, you are completely alone. And we'll get to the actual game now. Um, in the game, in, the, in this early release, you pick up a hatchet right off the... Uh, or rather, ha an axe right off the um, plane. And, as you can see, you are pretty much let to do whatever you want to do. You can cut down trees, you can skin animals... Um, you can eat from different things, because you need to eat to survive. And see, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to find a lizard and kill him if I can find him or a rabbit. See, there's a rabbit here. Kill him and get food. Basic. Your inventory panel. Uh, it's kind of a nice change from most games. You have everything laid out to you in real time, by the way, so you can be attacked while this is laid out. In your inventory, you start, there's your backpack and, and there's everything that was inside of it. Um, and everything's laid out. Everything you pick up will be listed sh or shown here in your inventory panel. Very nice, very obvious, very easy to view things, albeit a little bit buggy at the, at the moment. And basically, that is how that'll work. Um, in terms of enemies, there are mutants on the island that will try to kill you. And they don't like you, but they are not stupid, mind you. These mutants know how to kill. They will. Uh, they show affection for each other. If you kill one, they'll drag off one of their dead mates in, in, in sorrow. They will circle around you instead of trying to approach you directly. Um, they will try to hunt in packs. They will not, and they will stay in your blind spot when they try to engage you. They will generally not perform stupid maneuvers. So they are... A very intelligent enemy. They are actually some of the better um, enemy AI I've seen in games, and we're talking very early alpha, so that's nice. Um, there's some mechanics of the game that are really nice, like cutting down trees. Man, I love it. If it when it works, anyway. You see, you just your axe goes right in there. You can actually see the animation of the axe um, going into the tree, and eventually the tree comes down and will split into a few logs. And these will be your basic tools for survival once the tree comes down. There goes the tree. Tree's coming right down. There you go, you piece of shit. 
Goodbye, tree. Boom! Turns into a bunch of logs. And that's where you build your first shelter. You click on the basics of survival. Um, drop a shelter off. Now, the shelter requires a certain amount of items, which are listed in the bottom. And they will fill up the blueprint as you go along, which is kind of nice. And eventually, you'll have a fully constructed shelter that you can sleep in and hide out in at night, if you need to, from the creatures. And, of course, you'll build fire and a bunch of other things. Um, in terms of graphical quality, the game is beautiful. We have a team of, I believe, it's four members, I believe, um, created this game. And they made beautiful graphics in this game. The game has amazing graphics for, yeah, I believe it uses the Unity 4 engine? Unity 4, maybe? Unity 3, or I think it's Unity 4. But I could be wrong. Um... And the game just looks beautiful. The trees are nicely done. You have beautiful scenery. You have a lively feeling world. Um, realistic looking animations in terms of tree movement. Uh, whenever you swing your axe, it feels pretty real. Enemies look beautiful. Um, obviously, the flora and fauna are pretty well fleshed. Uh, they will be even more realistic later. I mean, as you can see here, we have a turtle coming up on shore. Yes, you can kill him. The water itself is uh, still in need of improvement, but they have done a fantastic job with it thus far, and this is only in the beginning. They already have released a hot fix to improve the water because it was very buggy before. Now, some things about the water, um, you can't swim underwater currently. Um, that is not a feature they have yet, and you can see under the water easily. But yeah, you can float on top of the water and, and look at what's underneath if you'd like. Um... Sounds are great uh, if you can listen. The sounds of the forest really come alive when it rains. Um, there are it's just all around beautiful to listen to the game, and the enemy sounds are quite scary. You can hear them coming, and you basically will know you're screwed. These mutant enemies on the island, and actually right in front of me is one of them. They're there's a dead one. And yes, if you kill them and chop them up, they turn into a bunch of different pieces, which are just quite entertaining, actually. Um, as for story, there's not much really given yet. There are no one really knows what the story is going to be. We suppose it might have something to do with the child that you see in the beginning, and he gets taken away, and you know you got to find him. No one really knows what's going on. Um, okay. As for, like, additional things to do, you're not really just trapped to one area. You can go anywhere. As you can see, there's a lot of things riddled, riddled around the island. You have, um, you have all these suitcases lying around. There's camps you can visit that have plenty of enemies in them. Um, there's a lot just lying around the island for you to explore. And no, it's not randomly generated, so everything is manually done. Uh, I suppose we can get to glitches, um... Some glitches this game has in its very early release is, uh, you can see right now, no head on your guy, okay? He has no head. That's interesting. You cannot, as of right now, play a female character, but, you know, that'll come later, I'm, I'm assuming. Um, uh, there's a glitch. There's a glitch where you can get killed by a cannibal if you hit his corpse. Like, when you smash his corpse... You can literally end up getting launched a thousand feet in the air and die instantly. Um, and there are many of other many other glitches that are known to kill you instantly. So that's a couple of things that are coming on. Um, however, they can easily be forgiven because of the fact that the game is so goddamn brand new and so fucking beautiful. Oh my god, it gives me a boner. Um, yes. Uh... There's not really too much left to talk about. I mean, I could really go into each individual thing. Um, but there's kind of no purpose, really. There is a lot that the game hasn't finished yet. And there's a lot I really like about the game. So, really, there's an, I can really just go on everything, but I feel like I shouldn't because it's just a review. It's not really a let's play. Perhaps I'll make those of the game as time goes on. Uh, but not as for now, not really a point. Um, that will almost conclude the um, review, except that 
it's interesting to note that on the main menu of the game, there is a timer for the next alpha patch that will come out. So you can actually keep track of the game, of the game's alpha, uh, day by day. And you can patiently sit there, like me, and wait for a release of the next patch. That is quite the effigy. It's beautiful, actually, in the light. Um, wow, it's beautiful. And the team actually watches the game, and obviously they, they follow its development because it's their game, but they will listen to people who tweet at them. Um, they will they keep reading the hot fixes that people request and all these bug reports, and they're really cleaning them out rapidly, which is a nice change. We're not going to have a completely bug game for the next one year of our lives. But yeah, I mean, that pretty much concludes it. Uh, I'm going to be playing a lot more of this game. Um, I do have Twitch TV broadcasts about this game. Excuse me. And plenty of others. But this game is something I'll be playing for a while. Um, thank you for watching. This is another Sablecraft video review of The Forest.